Hey, this is Johnny Z over at Gasket Studios, where we just got done with a really fun Halloween spot for Target's Channel Red. If you check the description below, there's a link where you can go and check it out. I'll give you a minute to pause this video, and when you get back, I can show you one of the techniques we used that went into making it. Alright, so as you saw, the slogan for the campaign was, When the sun goes down, the fun begins, and one of my tasks was to set up the system of the leaves falling during the transition of day to night. Um, what you're looking at here is a early style board of kind of the look and feel we were going for and eventually we got to this model so the effect was going to have to fit this model. I couldn't change it, add more branches to fit leaves on there so I was going to have to figure out a way to populate the tree while still matching the boards, get them to fall naturally. Um, probably going to want ones that stay stuck to the tree after everything's falling. Probably going to want to figure out a way to optimize it because eight trees eventually were in the piece, each having around 6,000 leaves. That's 48,000 leaves to deal with. And then at the end, give animators control so when they get the effect, they can control things that might change a lot like size of them, of the leaves, the, um, how fast they fall, direction, so on and so forth. So the first part was going to be populating the tree. So if we go back to the style board we can kind of see that the shape of the leaves is kind of in these spheres everywhere around. So what did I what I ended up doing was making this canopy kind of surface to sort of match the feel and then emitting particles from that and then instancing leaves onto those particles. So first we'll want to get our particles to emit from this surface. So if we select the geometry, go to end particles, create end particles, emit from object, Go to the option box, make sure it's a surface, and create. If we re rewind, hit play, we'll see particles coming off of our surface. Um, we don't. We want to have control over their falling. So, for right now, if I select the end particle, go to my nucleus node, turn the gravity off. And if I go and hide the surface, oops. If we wait long enough, it's kind of looking like a tree already. So let's go ahead and get our leaves attached to our particles. So if I bring my outliner up, select all the leaves, control click the particle. Go to Particles, Instancer, Rewind and hit play. You see I only have one type of leaf and it's pointing very uniformly. So first to fix the, uh, the only having one leaf, let's um, select the end particle again. And in the attribute editor, you can add a custom attribute. Make sure you're on the particle shape tab. Add dynamic attributes, general. And the new ones will have custom index. It's a float value per particle. OK. And we can write an expression on that. There it is, creation expression brings up the expression editor. We can say custom index equals a random value between 0 and 5. Because instancers start counting at 0, and 5 would be the sixth piece of geometry. So we'll create that expression. And in our instancer, 
it'll let me scroll. We can place our in, in object index to custom index and rewind and now we're getting more random leaves but they're still pointing all in the same direction. I'm going to quickly show and hide my end particles. So we're going to want to get these guys to orient or rotate in a more natural way. So we can do that by adding a few more expressions. So we'll add another attribute, call it custom rotation actually custom orientation so later we're going to add an attribute called um, rotation speed which will add to this value but orientation is just like rotation so vector okay and we can in the creation expression we'll say custom I'll just copy it since it's long custom orientation equals random value from 0 to 360 if you leave the 0 out uh, Maya knows that you mean between 0 and 360 and I'll copy this x value and paste it twice for y and z and close it off and then plug it into our instancer under rotation custom orientation and now when each leaf is born it gets a more random placement so if we were to let this play long enough or if we go in and turn the rate up on our emitter which is under the canopy surface See, I created a meter earlier, so this is the one I don't need. I can take its rate, turn it up to something like, let's go something crazy. We'll do this in the attribute editor. So the rate's at 10,000. If I go to the particle shape in under emission attributes, which is here, I can say its max count equals 6,000. So I'll never have more than 6,000. So once it gets to 6,000, it'll stop emitting. And we already have a pretty cool looking tree. In the next video, I'll start going over techniques that will give us control over how the leaves fall. So we'll see you in the next video.